first things first. I want to say rest in peace to my life. Because let me tell you what my life would have been like if I never made that dumbass decision. So all of y'all know that I moved in with a girl, right? I'm not going to say her name because I don't want to upset her. So I moved in with a girl and we were living, we was living together for almost seven months, you know, before things happened, you know? So it was all my fault of why it all ended because I made the dumb decision of trying to like get her to like move with my parents because she was all aboard for it. So I was like, do you actually want to do this? And some like I had a bad feeling. I knew that it was stupid to do. Like I kept asking her like every few seconds, like, are you sure you want to do this? Like, or, like, you know, I'll do whatever you want. And she kept saying yeah. So, but I wasn't trusting my instincts. My instincts was telling me to do different. My instincts was telling me to just not do and just, just just stop. But it wasn't telling me enough because I went through with the plan. So, so now I'm just like, okay, fuck it, we're gonna do it. So we moved in with my parents after, like, I knew it was a stupid thing to do. Cause now look, as soon as that happened, bam, she's not allowed to be with me no more. And then all the other crazy shit started to happen. And now look at me now. I am, I literally have to start life over. I'm literally starting life over and the only reason why I'm complaining and bitching about it now is because I don't get the amount, I don't get the respect that I deserve. Like, I'm not, I'm not begging for the respect, but I believe that I, I, I deserve it. Like, I deserve some respect that I'm not getting that type of respect. Because if I never made that decision, my life would be totally different. First, it was this fucking coronavirus. Then it was losing a relationship to where I would wake up to the same face every day. And I know some niggas out there be like, oh man, I can't, I can't wake up to the same face every day. I could, I could. That's all I want, to wake up to the same face every day. So I risked, I risked that by doing dumb shit, like moving her in to my parents' house. Not even realizing that I'm that she's slipping out of my fingertips. Now look at my life now. I'm back in the basement of my parents' home, being a big, bigger bother than ever. And now, now I'm sitting up here doing TikTok videos and shit. Ain't nothing wrong with doing TikTok videos. I, I enjoy it. I'm, I, I ain't gonna lie, I used to, be the, I used to be one of TikTok's biggest haters. Like, oh my God, it's a cringy shit. But I love TikTok. I do TikTok now. And, but I'm doing more and more stuff to try to keep my mind off of everything. But it just won't work because I snap back into reality like that and realize what my life is now because of that stupid ass decision that I made. I lost everything. Everything, I lost it all. Everything I ever prayed for. Everything I ever wanted. I lost it all, completely gone. And now, it's like, I'm, it's really like I, I have to start over on life. Like, somebody pressed the restart button, and I just gotta start all the way over. <laughs> so I was listening to um, Dixie D'Amelio's Be Happy song. Bro, that shit hit home, man. Because everything that she's saying in that song is straight facts. It's the truth. Sometimes I don't want to be happy. Like, I, like, I get that. I get it. Because sometimes I don't want to be happy. Even if, even if I'm like, I'm cool shit. Like, right? But then there's days when it's like, bro, I'm not trying to talk to nobody. I'm just trying to sit down in my room, watch dashy games, watch them scream at horror games or watch Corey extension. I be on days like that too, so that song hit home for me, man. So I understand everything she's saying. But 
I just wanted to let y'all know how crazy my life has gotten, how bad it fell down into a hole. Everything for me was up. I was up. I was doing good. I was doing great. Feeling great. But then I made that dumbass decision that automatically pressed that restart button for me. And now I'm just sitting here regretting everything I've ever done. And to that girl, I'm not going to say her name. But y'all already know who she is. I used to do videos with her. To that girl, I want you to know there's no hard feelings between us. There's no bad blood. But even you know, life would have been different if I never made that dumbass decision. I don't know what the fuck that was, but he knew me. I don't know. But anyways, I'm about to get off this. I'm about to, I'm about to walk in the rain. If I get sick, I get sick. Oh well. Coronavirus. Oh fucking well. I don't fucking care anymore. What, what is my life now? If I get sick, what, what, what am I gonna lose? I ain't got nothing. So, if I get sick, oh well. I get sick. Anyways, I'ma go. Peace out, man.